hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to storytime marika now today by the title you already know what i'm gonna talk about so here's story time on like my worst breakup ever and how i got over it right so this was the last year right well it was kind of this year too it was like last year into the beginning of this year and to me <laughs> To me, this relationship was just so toxic. Like, I don't even, it wasn't even a relationship, too. It was just like a situation. I don't know. It didn't have a title, right? And it just broke me. It broke me so bad. But, anyways, the relationship was real toxic. It was real, real, real toxic. And,. I really don't know why I allow it to go on for so long. I think it's just like the love that I had for the person. But let me tell you something, right? Let me tell you something. Let me record, tell you something real quick. You see, the love, it don't matter. You see, when your peace of mind and your heart, like, getting disturbed, please leave that man or leave that woman. Please. Please. But anyways, it was good but only to a point right so let me say monday we good monday we really good monday night we will fight then we'll get back good tuesday we good tuesday night we go fight all right we get back good wednesday we might we might spend the whole day wednesday good then tuesday whole day we fight it whole day like it was never just a whole week of goodness. Never. Never, ever, 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 ever. Right? And I do not know. Listen, listen, this is in caps. I do not know why I stayed there for so long. Anyways. My mother, like, literally watched me lose myself. I lost myself completely. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't eating. I lose real weight. And it was just, like, real traumatic. And... I just like looking back at it i just like marika like what the fuck you like why are you even what what but yeah let me tell you how i get over it so you know how people are talk about when you break up you should reflect and journal and you know talk about it and this and that bullshit well everybody different everybody different let me say that everybody different but let me tell you what worked for me i went out i went outside because outside is nice and don't ever go home right <laughs> i went outside and i had hmm let's see what we could call that i had a good carnival right and carnival i'm not saying go outside and share coochie yeah? that is not what i seen go outside and just remember what it was like before the relationship who you was before the relationship who you truly are and try to get you back you know because you just really lose yourself in relationships and it's just like marika why did you allow that why you know and me losing myself just made me put up a wall which is bad because your prince charming or your knight in shaman, shining armor could come and then because you were also fat and tall it was stopping from actually getting to you and then you would lose out you know but then again keep the wall up because you have to protect yourself you know listen all my advice is going to be contradicting itself because Part of me wants to tell all you, yeah, girls and love and girls and find all the people. And then part of me just wants all you to just stay to all yourself and just don't trust nobody. And don't give these people the time of day. But, I mean, it's all up to you. It's all up to you. Don't say America, say. But yeah, getting over somebody, getting over that person was literally the hardest the hardest hardest thing because like everything was just reminding madam and it was annoying it was real annoying and let me tell you what like really triggered like you see when they do something 
real terrible. Like, the relationship was bad, eh? But you see when they say things that really just hit home? Yeah. You see me? Or they could watch Marika and they could tell me at a care address are ugly, are stupid. You could call my home. You could call me wherever you want, but do not call me a bad mother. Or do not imply that I am a bad mother. You see, when you, when you say that, you cross the fucking line. I swear to God. You and your whole family could get it. I swear. Don't ever, 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 ever tell me that I is a bad mother. Don't ever tell me that I is a bad mother. You could call my home. You could call my slut. You could tell me that I is fuck everybody. You could tell me anything. You could just be like, well, okay. And you too. But you see, when you tell me it's a bad mother, I will really trip. I will trip. A different kind of trip. You're going to swear it's a sin that's patient. I swear to God. But yeah. You see when it's a mother? I was like, yeah. The love I have for you gone. The respect I have for you gone. The care I have for you gone. I don't care about you. I don't respect you. I don't love you. Nothing. You can fucking dead. I swear. <laughs> This is the most only ever hear me curse. I'm sorry. But you see that specific individual is just like you don't deserve nothing good. You don't deserve anything good. But anyways, you shouldn't be bitter. Don't be bitter. Let me tell you the best revenge is to just move on and do better. Look better. You know? Because yeah, everybody know Marika. And you had Marika at a certain point. But the Marika you had is not the Marika in 2023. The Marika right now. So just let them watch from the sidelines. Like, that is the best revenge. It is the best revenge. And them not having access to you. So, yeah, they could. They want to come back or they want to apologize. Or they even want small talk. And you literally cannot get on to me. Don't call me. Don't text me. Even if you see me in person, I'm watching it. I'm skinning up my face. Because who is you? I have no memory of you. Like, who are you? Who are you? I have amnesia. All of a sudden. No. You are invisible. I swear. Like, all you doesn't want to cross the line with me, no. I swear. I... I mad. I'm mad. And the reason why I'm single oh, and the reason why I'm single is because yeah, some people are say, why are you why are you single? You're so pretty. I, it's not because I can't get a man. It's because if I get one, my brain mm -mm, I might kill them. I swear. I swear. But getting over them was just like really safe. just go outside go outside talk to somebody new get your mind off of them distract yourself just make yourself hate them it's easier to make yourself hate them and then once you hate them you can just get over them because what else you staying there for what else you crying about you already hate them so mm, mm. think about all the bad things that they did don't make you hate them and do not do not remain friends after a breakup. Please. Please. That, that does never do anybody any good. Even if y'all end on good terms, do not remain friends. Because the feelings will never fade. And then all it will basically become a uh, situation. You know why? Because y'all doing everything like a relationship. But y'all remove the title. So tell y'all tomorrow he could go and do what he wants. And come back and lie down next to you like normal. Because why? That is not a man. And you can't get vexed. So do not remain friends after the breakup. Just break up and don't speak to each other. <laughs> Y'all can be cool and not even let me tell you. The people that break up on good terms and not saying hate the man enough. Or they could be cool. But just why are they talking? Like what are they gonna talk about? No. No. You want to get over that person, stop talking to them. Unless only on a break or something. But even on a break, why are they communicating? Stop talking. But yeah. Me? One like me? As soon as you slip up, I just delete your number. Right now, I have 20 contacts. Two zero. 20 contacts. And it will go down. Even more. As soon as you slip up, I just delete your number. And I doesn't afraid when you message me. Who is this? It does make your heart sink in a big toe. Like, wow, she delete my number. Yes. 
She delete my number. <laughs> what are keeping your number for? I don't want to watch my status. I don't want to watch your status. What are keeping your number for? I can't call you. You can't fucking call me. So your number not serving no purpose on my phone. You understand? So we break up. Number deleted. You don't have to block them, but number deleted. You see if they're talking and they're disrespecting you, then you can block them. Or if they're talking and they're just not serving no purpose. <laughs> Blocked. My block list real long. <laughs> I swear. I swear to you, my block list is long. And I'm going to tell you something. Most of the times, you are not the problem. You're thinking, well, um, you have all this love to give and he not accepting it. Take all that love and go and give it to somebody else. Take it all and carry it away. <laughs> right? And dating advice. Like, do not tell these people the truth. When you now, when you now start talking to somebody, like in the first talking stages, do not tell them the truth. Do not tell them the truth. Especially if you came from a very toxic relationship, you're going to end up in the next one. You know why? Because you're going to say, like, let me just say, he asks, like, why the relationship ended. Like, you could just say, it just didn't work out. Or they couldn't see each other or whatever. Let me tell you, if you tell that new person that... This man do this, do that, do the other. The new person is going to think that hmm, this girl does real take shit. So I could do shit too. And that is no. Let me tell you. Set your standards. And the only way you could really set your standards is if you know what you want. So date yourself, love yourself. Date yourself. Figure out what you want. Buy yourself flowers. Take yourself on dates. Treat you. Love you. You understand? Because when this man come and this new man come, you come out of a toxic relationship, eh? You ever get flowers before? Or you're telling him, buy flowers for you. And he asks you, you ever get flowers before? No. So in here, it's like, if the man before, you was doing everything for the man before, he never buy you flowers. He barely used to take you on dates. Like, why I had to do it? You was doing it for he, you could do it for me too. No! Set the standards, lie through your teeth lie through your teeth make it sound like the best relationship you was ever in but why all they break up because it didn't work out he just wasn't your type you understand the best relationship say he used to buy flowers for your last birthday went to hotel listen lie through your teeth because this new man if it is he cannot do the things that you like he will either bust out or step up you know lie through your teeth do not tell these niggas the truth. I'm telling you, take it from me. You could tell them the truth and that's not going to get you anything good. Because you know yourself would now and you're saying, yeah, you know, come out as um, a toxic relationship and you want better for yourself. You want flowers, you want to go on dates frequently, you want to dress up and just, you know, you want your significant on your social media. Like, you want all these things, right? But... When they ask you about what you had before, you talk about never getting these things. So how they supposed to give it to you if, you know, they think into themselves like, she never had this before, but she give this man, she all. So why do I have to give uh, these things? You know, and they don't understand that you are not the person that you were when you were with that old person. You are a better person you love yourself more you know your worth now but they're not seeing that they're just hearing that um she gave her all to a bum so i could be a bum too because you know what you're still going to be with them you're still going to give them everything that the last person got so why they can't do it too you understand and let me tell you stop ignoring red flags when you see red flags don't think that they are pink or green they are red and if they are red and shining and standing in front of your face, do not just walk across or walk around the red flag. Do not do that, please. Take those red flags and write them down. Write them down. And when you reach five, leave. Because why it is you have more than five? Hmm? Hmm? And don't say, hmm, well, he was in a two-year two relationship, but... He say he block your ex. 
so we good now no you was in our relationship for two years all in now break up and you think you could come to me <laughs> she is your soulmate leave me alone <laughs> leave me alone i said so good but listen to me don't take dating advice from me take it from google or take it from anybody else but that's just my take on it right that's just my take on it and don't let these bum ass niggas break you it don't matter how much you love them how much you care for them how much like you respect them or how much you want them in your life do not let them break you and don't ever let nobody disrespect you man you seeing how pretty you is you seeing you and you go let somebody disrespect you or treat you any less than you would you're mad are you mad but yeah so don't be with anybody moral story just be by yourself be by yourself and hurt these niggas <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking i'm not i'm joking i'm joking but yeah just find yourself love yourself date yourself and i'm actually gonna do like a series of me dating me and you're gonna see that but yeah it's just it's a lot it's a lot and when you're dealing with a breakup nobody really understands how you feel because only you were there with that person like even if you talk to your best friend about the bad days most of the time she not there with the good days you know so she don't understand why it is you really love this person even though he treated you like tata you know so you just really have to make up your mind that hey they know what i want i want better for me and this right now ain't doing me any good and boss it run but yeah i i'm a good big sister i don't have a little sister but i'm a good big sister like i could just give you advice and i could tap you when you taking shit from these niggas because why are you taking shit from these niggas hmm? he paying you he paying you mm -mm. Mm -mm. but yeah date a guy that loves all of you that is in tune that spoils you and that just know everything they are right and i mean we all can't get the perfect guy because the perfect guy don't really exist so you would always deal with red flags or flaws in a person but just don't be taken on too much don't be taken on too much you understand yeah i think that's it i think that's it short and sweet i really love you guys i love you guys so much and stay tuned for more videos <laughs> y'all see ming 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 looking nice i think my insta is getting better but yeah our next video coming right after this i'm not leaving you on hanging sorry bye <laughs>